After years on YouTube watching long Final Cut Pro tutorials, I wish that someone had made a channel like this so I could learn from quality content that was straight to the point. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and watch this video until the end so you can learn as much as you can. My goal is to give you the tools to bring your editing skills to the next level. Just so you can start right from the beginning, create a folder on your hard drive and you're gonna create a library. File, new, library. You're gonna open this tab, put the name of your project and you're gonna be able to see this library on your left side of the screen. Storage location, you're just gonna keep the same, the motion content. The rest, just put everything in that file that you create on your hard drive, just so you can keep all the footage there and you don't have any risk. Double click in the library, new project. You can name the project here in the videos, you're gonna be able to have the ability to change to 4K, 1080, 2K, whatever you want. If you wanna do for Instagram, you're gonna go to custom and you're just gonna switch the settings of the resolution right here. In case you wanna do portrait, 1200, 1500. If you wanna do square, just gonna put 1500 by 1500 and so on. But because this video tutorial is gonna be just for YouTube, you're just gonna go back to 1080 HD. That's the one that I would recommend. If you wanna change your name of your project, just click on top of the name and you can put any name you want. After you create your project, now you're gonna start importing the files. Make sure that you have the settings like mine, right here on the right side of the screen. Just leave files in place. If you select copy to project, Final Cut Pro is gonna create the project in a separate folder and it's gonna take more space. This is gonna go in the folder, in the area that I have my files. You can press, you're gonna be able to see automatically which file it is, just in case you need to. If you want to select more than one, you're just going to hold shift and you're going to click to the rest of the files. This way you're just going to go import selected and it's going to be on your left side of your screen. Here you have the ability to see the size of your files, the time just to make longer. This way you can be more precise. Here you can select if you want to see the waveforms. Right on the side you can change the way that you view your project. I personally like to keep big so I can have the whole picture of the projects that I'm working on. Then here on the right side of the screen, you're gonna be able to show or hide the browser, show or hide the timeline, and show or hide the inspector. Here on the bottom, you have the effects tab where you're gonna find all the effects that the Final Cut Pro has to offer. And right beside you will see the transitions all the transitions that the Final Cut Pro has to offer. We're gonna select the file, you can press Q or E, or you can simply drag into your timeline. Here you see the change of the parents of your clips in the timeline. This way you have the ability to zoom in or out. You can change the way that you see, just audio or just image or just lines, whatever it works for you. I personally like to see a little bit of wave and a little bit of image. On the sides you're gonna have the snapping mode. I like to keep the snapping mode on because when I do a cut or something it snaps right in the position that I need to be. If you want to do a cut you just press B. If you press the little microphone on the side you're gonna be solo select item. If you press that you're gonna be able to hear only that clip that you select. This one, you're gonna be able to turn on and off the audio. When you move, you're gonna be able to hear. If you turn off, sometimes it get a little bit annoying, so you just turn off and you're not gonna hear anymore the sound. This option right here, turn the video and audio skimming on and off. This way it's nice so you can see where is the part that you're really looking for and you can quickly go over your video. Right here on the top right, we have the video inspector. You can see the blend mode, you can control the opacity of your video. Transform, this setting is gonna pop on your video and you're gonna have the ability to change the position here. On the screen, you're gonna be able to see the size. I personally like to keep on a 50, or if you wanna see something more close, I go to 200, or if you wanna be normal, you just put fit. It's gonna fit the screen. Rotation, you're gonna be able to rotate your video. On the right, if you don't like, you can just press and it's gonna go back. Scale, the same thing. And then on the right, after the distortion, you're gonna be able to stabilize your footage in case it's a little bit shaky. 
after you press make sure that you check the background task because you're gonna be able to see the render this is one thing that you're gonna learn and you will see a lot in Final Cut Pro every time that you add a effect a transition or anything in your project you're gonna have to wait a little bit to renderize it's kind of like applying to your timeline so you need to have a little bit of patience with that okay and you'll be able to see clicking on the top here or you can see these little dots on top of your timeline as well now we're gonna go up here you see the call inspector there you're gonna be able to adjust and control the exposure such as highlight mid-tones shadows and all of them together the same thing applies for saturation and color this one that we're using is color board. Me personally, I like to use the color wheels so we can have, instead of the points of control, we can have these wheels. Then if you wanna check or apply, you just need to go back here on the show video inspector and you're gonna be able to see the effects that you apply. Right on the bottom here, you'll be able to see the temperature. Here's where you can adjust or change the white balance of your image. If you put to the left, it's gonna be blue. If you put to the right, it's gonna be more orange. Tint, the same thing, it's gonna be green and purple. Here in the corrections tab, you'll be able to see color curves as well. It's another way to correct your image exposure, colors and all these things. It's a little bit more advanced. I suggest you to keep just for now with the color wheels. And you have hue and saturation curves as well. In this area, you'll be able to select independent areas or colors that you want to work if you want to select and work with the blue such as any other colors that you have on your screen here in saturation is the same thing but it's gonna apply for the amount of colors that you want in this specific area those are very useful tools that if you want to play and explore you already know where it is if you're learning something from this video consider subscribe to this channel give a like and let's share the knowledge Back to the tutorial. Right on the side, we have the audio tab. Here, you'll be able to control the volume of your track. And if you move your mouse left to right, you'll be able to see the timing as well. The same thing, you are able to work with keyframing and control the volume of your audio. Very simple, and here in this area, you are able to adjust, treat them with some EQs, reverbs, or whatever you want. Here on the Info Spectre, you see the size of your file that you're working on and the type mine as you can see is 4k rec 709 and on the bottom you see a little bit more of information and now we're gonna add some music to our video if you want to import the files just gonna double click import the files we're gonna do the same thing that we did before but now we're gonna import the soundtrack go in the area that you download and import to your timeline me personally, I like to use Epidemic Sound. If you'd like to have a one month free trio, the link is gonna be in the description below. Here on the side, you'll be able to see individual folders, all the videos, all the audios, all the favorites. And I'm gonna show you how to isolate the favorite videos or audios that you want. It's more collection, you'll be able to see everything. If you go select the clip and press F, it's gonna pop this green line on top of your video. If you go to the favorite tab, you see that the videos that you press F, you're gonna be able to work and drag individually. If I have 20 files, but I just need five files, I'm just gonna pick the best one and I'm just gonna select those as my favorites. Or if you wanna be even more specific, you're just gonna go select the clip that you wanna work and press I. When you press I, you're gonna say that's the first part that you wanna start your video. You're gonna press the space bar and you're gonna go until the area that you wanna finish. You're gonna press O as outro or as a conclusion and you're gonna be able to see just the yellow area that you're gonna work with and if you press f it's gonna isolate only that area to your favorites so this way you can be even more precise to your project it's a very nice feature that i use a lot on my projects audio is the same thing you can go frame by frame you can do i space o and select the specific area that you want to work on and you can just press q or select and drag into your timeline let's do some cuts let's put some effects here for us if you want to cut 
you can just select the end or the beginning of the clip and drag you're gonna be able to manipulate your files like this or you can press b and slice them if you have one clip that you don't want to anymore you can just select and press delete or if you want to keep and go back you just press command z let's say that you have the final cuts that you want you have the tracks that you want now we're gonna put some fade into our videos i'm just gonna select this dot that you have on your audio and you're just gonna drag to the side and this way you're gonna create a fade if you double click there you'll be able to see some different settings or different ways to fade for the video is easy you can go to transition and drag on the video that you want or command t if you click just on the right side of the click and you see the yellow part you're just gonna apply to the right side now if you click and select the whole clip the transition or the effect is gonna be applied in the whole clip keep that in mind if you don't like the transition or the fade you're just gonna press command z and after apply the effect you are able to manipulate and change the duration as well just drag to the side that you want in the audio section you're able to manipulate or bring the audio up and down if you select more than one clip you're able to manipulate all of them as well if you press v on your keyboard you're gonna be able to hide the clip that you select such as music or video you can select r and you're gonna be able to isolate the area that you want to manipulate that's a little bit more advanced but just so you keep that in mind for your future now that you're already learning final cut pro and i'm gonna add some more transitions some effects and then after you're happy with everything, just make sure that you export your video. And here's a little secret that I would like to share with you because you stay until the end. My secret, how I export the best quality video for YouTube and for Instagram. To export your final project, share the project, event clip or timeline range. Clicking there, just gonna go to master file and from there in the settings, you're gonna select format video and audio if you want to do for instagram it's computer but if you want to do for youtube video and audio i highly recommend in h264 after you're done make sure that you select the area that you want to export and you're ready to go after you export just make sure they wait and you're gonna be able to have your first project on final cut pro Thank you very much for watching this video, but this is just a little part of editing. If you want to bring your editing skills to the next level, I have a playlist full of Final Cut Pro tutorials just for you. Consider subscribing to this channel, hit the notification bell so you know every single time that I post a new tutorial. Follow me on social media and I'll see you in the next video.